The Fate of Children from Legendary Mafia Dynasties The lives of the most notorious mobsters of the 20th century have been well documented, immortalized in films, books, and songs. But what of their offspring? The children of these legendary figures often lived in the shadows of their infamous surnames, navigating a world filled with expectations, dangers, and opportunities unique to the progeny of organized crimes elite. This video delves into the fates of 10 children born into the families of some of the most legendary mobsters, revealing scandalous, incredible, and intriguing facts about their lives. Number 1. Albert Francis Sonny Capone, The Quiet Life of Capone's Heir Albert Francis Capone, known as Sonny, was born to Al Capone and May Coughlin on December 4, 1918, in Brooklyn, New York. Unlike his father, Al Capone, who was one of the most notorious gangsters of the 20th century, Sonny endeavored to lead a life far removed from the infamy associated with the Capone name. Following Al Capone's conviction for tax evasion in 1931 and subsequent imprisonment, along with his death in 1947, Sonny faced the daunting task of navigating a world that was acutely aware of his lineage. Sonny Capone made deliberate choices to distance himself from his father's criminal legacy. In an attempt to lead a normal life, he changed his last name to Brown and ventured into legitimate business, working variously as a tire distributor and in the printing industry. Despite these efforts, the stigma of his surname loomed large, impacting personal relationships and business endeavors alike. Sonny's life was marked by his struggle to reconcile the love for his father with the desire to forge his own path, free from the shadow of Al Capone's crimes. Sonny Capone passed away on July 8, 2004, having lived a life that starkly contrasted with that of his infamous father. Number 2. The Diverse Paths of Meyer Lansky's Children Meyer Lansky, known as the mob's accountant for his pivotal role in the development of the National Crime Syndicate in the United States, left behind a legacy that extended far beyond his criminal empire, through his three children, Paul, Sandra, and Buddy Lansky. Each child navigated the towering shadow of their father's infamy in distinct ways. Paul Lansky embraced a life of privacy, steering clear of the limelight and living a life markedly separate from the criminal undertakings of his father. Sandra Lansky Lombardo chose a different path by publicly exploring her relationship with her father in her memoir, Daughter of the King, Growing Up in Gangland. Through her writings, Sandra offers a nuanced view of Lansky, humanizing the man known for his ruthless efficiency in the criminal world. Buddy Lansky, much like his brother Paul, has maintained a low profile, effectively shielding his personal and professional life from public scrutiny. Together, the Lansky children's lives reflect a blend of privacy, reflection, and an enduring effort to define themselves outside the legacy of Meyer Lansky's criminal endeavors. Number 3. Vincent Giganti Jr. Between Two Worlds Vincent Giganti, known as The Chin, was infamous for feigning insanity to avoid criminal charges. His son, Vincent Giganti Jr., faced his own legal battles, including a 2007 indictment for racketeering and conspiracy. Despite these challenges, Vincent Jr. sought to lead a relatively normal life, highlighting the complex relationship between the public personas of mafia figures and the private lives of their children. Number 4. Rita Giganti, A Journey of Healing and Acceptance Rita Giganti, the daughter of Vincent the Chin Giganti, took a path far removed from the expectations set by her father's notorious legacy as a mafia boss. Instead of following in the criminal footsteps, Rita embarked on a journey of healing, becoming a spiritual healer and psychic medium. Her life is a testament to the power of breaking free from the shadows of a tumultuous past. In her memoir, The Godfather's Daughter, Rita shares her experiences growing up in a mafia household and her journey towards understanding and forgiveness. Her story highlights the profound impact of her father's life on her own and her efforts to carve out a path defined by love and healing rather than crime and violence. Number 5. John A. Gotti, Following in the Footsteps John Angelo Gotti, born on February 14, 1964, was the son of the notorious John Gotti, Sr., who led the Gambino crime family, one of the most powerful criminal organizations in New York. From a young age, Jr. was immersed in the Mafia's world, being groomed by his father to eventually take the helm of the Gambino family. 
Throughout the 1990s and early 2000s, John A. Agati faced numerous legal battles, including charges of racketeering, extortion, and involvement in organized crime. Despite being tried four times between 2004 and 2009, the trials ended with hung juries and mistrials, leading to no convictions on the most serious charges. In the late 2000s, Jr. publicly declared his withdrawal from organized crime, seeking to redefine his life and legacy beyond the shadow of his father's infamy. His attempts to live a legitimate life have been marked by public speaking engagements and a focus on his family, signaling a significant departure from his anticipated path in the Mafia. Number 6. Thomas Gambino, Legacy's Heir. Thomas Gambino, son of the infamous Carlo Gambino of the Gambino crime family, inherited a crucial role within his father's empire. Skilled in balancing legitimate businesses with the family's illicit operations, Thomas notably influenced the Gambino's garment district ventures. His prominence led to legal scrutiny, culminating in his indictment in the Pizza Connection trial during the 1980s, a significant case that revealed extensive heroin distribution through pizzerias. Despite the serious nature of the charges, Thomas faced relatively minor repercussions, highlighting the Gambino family's enduring clout and the complexities of prosecuting organized crime. Thomas's story is a testament to the enduring legacy and influence of the Gambino family lineage. Number 7. Karen Gravano, Embracing the Mafia Legacy Karen Gravano, the daughter of Salvatore Sammy the Bolt Gravano, a former underboss of the Gambino crime family who became infamous for testifying against John Gotti, Sr., has publicly embraced her mafia heritage. Born on May 8, 1972, Karen gained widespread attention through her participation in the reality TV show Mob Wives, which aired from 2011 to 2016. The show explored the lives of women connected to the mob, providing Karen a platform to delve into her identity and experiences as the offspring of one of the most well-known mob turncoats. Unlike many mafia descendants who seek to distance themselves from their familial connections, Karen has utilized her background to forge a career in media, also authoring a book, Mob Daughter, which details her life within a notorious mob family and her father's cooperation with federal authorities. Number 8. Frank Calabrese Jr., Breaking the Oath Frank Calabrese Jr., born into the life of the Chicago outfit through his father, Frank Calabrese Sr., a feared lone shark and hitman, took a groundbreaking step by cooperating with the FBI against his own father. In the late 1990s, while serving time in prison for lone sharking, Frank Jr. initiated contact with the FBI, leading to his cooperation in the landmark Operation Family Secrets trial. His testimony in 2007 was crucial in convicting several members of the Chicago outfit, including his father, for a series of murders and other crimes. This act of testifying against his father broke the Mafia's code of silence, or omerta, and was a pivotal moment in his life, aiming for personal redemption and seeking justice for his father's victims. Frank Jr.'s decision marked a significant departure from his life in organized crime, leading him to advocate against the mob's violent legacy. Number 9. Bill Bonanno, A Life of Crime and Reflection Bill Bonanno, born on November 5, 1932, to Joseph Bonanno, the respected and influential leader of the Bonanno crime family, was steeped in the mafia culture from his birth. Following his father's footsteps, Bill became actively involved in the family's criminal enterprises during the 1960s. However, the violent Bonanno Wars for control of the family and his subsequent arrests and legal troubles led Bill to a life of reflection and writing. He authored several books, including Bound by Honor, a mafioso story, where he offered an insider's view of the American mafia and reflected on his personal journey within and outside the mob. Through his writings and participation in documentaries, Bill sought to provide nuanced insights into the mafia's operations, significantly contributing to the public's understanding of organized crime's complexities and its impact on individuals and families entrenched in the lifestyle. Number 10. Joseph Colombo Jr. Advocacy Against Stereotyping Joseph Colombo Jr. emerged from the shadow of his father, Joseph Colombo Sr., a known leader of the Colombo crime family, to address the stigmatization of Italian-Americans. In 1970, he founded the Italian-American Civil Rights League, aimed at dispelling the myth that Italian-Americans were synonymous with organized crime. His activism, including organizing a massive rally in New York City that attracted over 50,000 people, 
sought to protect Italian-American rights and reshape public perception. Despite his noble intentions, Joseph Jr.'s efforts were overshadowed by his father's mafia ties, especially after Joseph Sr. was critically injured at a league rally in 1971, an event that marked a significant turn in both their lives and the league's influence.